I'm Dr. Vicki Peterson. I want to speak with you today about antacids. Whether you're taking an antacid by a prescription or over the counter, it has some dangerous side effects that you really want to know about. So the first thing to understand is that your stomach is designed to be a bag of acid. It's supposed to be very rich in acid so that it can break down your food. Because the process of chewing your food, that's the beginning of digestion, and then the food travels down a tube called your esophagus and it lands in your stomach. And that stomach is doing some major breaking down of those chunks of food that go down your esophagus once you swallow. And the idea is that the food, when it leaves the stomach and goes to the small intestine, is of a size whereby the enzymes of the small intestine can get to work on it and really just continue to break it down such that that food is properly digested and then it can be absorbed, meaning it leaves your intestine, goes out into your bloodstream, and feeds all the cells of your body. So that's the design. So what can happen with symptoms of acid reflux and heartburn is of course if you've ever had these symptoms you can have a lot of burning and it's very clearly acid so of course we want to suppress the acid but that's treating the symptom it's not getting to the cause because what's really the cause of that is remember the acid is supposed to be there it's not supposed to be coming up your esophagus but it's supposed to be in your stomach and the stomach designed to be a bag of acid you wouldn't feel any burning if everything is maintaining where it should so it's only when that stomach compresses and squirts that acid up your esophagus, then you feel the heartburn, you feel the acid reflux, and you're very uncomfortable. But it's not the problem of the acid, it's the problem of the location. So we want to get to the root cause of, of why. Why is your stomach in spasm? Uh, food reactions is one, and you can have food sensitivities that cause the stomach to spasm and, and shoot the contents or shoot the acid up the esophagus. You can also have an infection called H. pylori, which stands for Helicobacter pylori, which can create a lot of inflammation and a lot of upset in how you feel. There's also something mechanically called a hiatal hernia, and again, that bag of acid, what encloses it is a sphincter or a little valve that, that goes over the top of the stomach once you've eaten and, and it starts uh, uh, producing the acid to keep that acid contained in the stomach. And if that valve is not working quite the way it should, then things can squirt up the esophagus and you feel that burning pain. Um, it's not that people need surgery. The surgery is not very successful. What we need to do is get to the reason of why that stomach is spasming and, and creating a lot of pressure on that valve. So if you want more information on that, I've written on hiatal hernia and I have a few YouTube videos on hiatal hernia as well that you can find um, on my, my website, rootcausemedicalclinic.com. So getting back to some other side effects of um, these antacids, there's over 100 million Americans on an antacids, uh, either prescription or over the counter, for the cost of $10 billion with a B a year, the cost of these medications. So there's a lot of people using them, and believe me, I know how uncomfortable it can be to have that acid reflux and, and to have that heartburn, but you want to get to the cause of it. Here at Root Cause, it's very easy. If somebody comes in and says, I'm on antacids, if they're compliant with the dietary changes that we find they need, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer for us to get them off these medications, which is exciting because when they're not on those medications anymore, then digestion and absorption is working the way it should. It turns out that in order to absor uh, absorb certain minerals like calcium, calcium, magnesium, zinc, iron, certain B vitamins, you need in that ac acidic environment. I mean, it's there to break down all the food, but there are certain uh, key uh, minerals and vitamins you will malabsorb if you don't have enough acid. So now there's a very strong link that's get, getting better known that if you take antacids, you're more likely to get brittle bones or, or osteoporosis. And maybe that's why we're seeing more osteoporosis in men than we've ever seen because there's such an abuse of antacids. So I bring this up because it's so commonly used. It's one of the most common medications, not just in America, but of course we see that in patients a lot as well. 
and getting to the root of that is very key because if your gut's not healthy, it's impossible for the rest of your body to be healthy. So if you know somebody on antacids that takes them regularly, they're uncomfortable, they're not getting, they're not getting help, they're just taking the drugs, please let them know about uh, what I just said, share this video with them, uh, give them a link to the website. I'm more than happy to have um, some time to speak with them, either over the phone or in person. We can do a free phone consultation or a free in-house consultation because it really is that important that we get to the reason why. And believe it or not, 50% of Americans that have these symptoms actually don't have enough acid even though they think they have too much. So that's something we can get into in, at another time. Um, but until then, I wish you very good health. Here at Root Cause Medical Clinic, we help the world's busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, their energy, and their resilience, and I would love to help you. So share this with friends. Uh, please reach out if you need help. That's why we're here, and I'll talk to you soon.